Good evening. So I have a book review for you. John Sanford, Gathering Prey. This is book 25 in the Lucas Davenport series. It was published in 2015. Summary of the book really is a group of folks that are called travelers, kind of like a gypsy type nomadic group of individuals that are traveling across the United States. Letty is home from Stanford and encounters, you know, these two individuals, I believe it's Henry and Skye, and uh, helps them out in a jam, gives her, gives Skye her number in case she ever needs anything as they're kind of passing through uh, Minneapolis. And so then you get kind of Sky and Henry meeting up with this other group that's kind of the ringleader being this guy named Pilot, who at the time you realize is kind of a sadist and a killer. They kind of uh, try to trick Henry, and I think it was by Sturgis or something during a bike rally, and try to get lure him in, and then they end up crucifying him. So you had that, and then so Letty gets involved when Sky goes on the run, and basically, you know, is trying to get away from these people. She doesn't really know what happened to Henry at that point. And so Letty gets Lucas involved, her dad. And the next thing you know, at first he's not really interested. And he's kind of, he's kind of taking a, a bureaucratic approach to Letty's interest in this. And, you know, and so he does kind of a half-ass way of looking into it for her. The next thing you know, come to find out through his connections with the BCA, he finds out that this guy might be deadly and a serial killer and sadist. So then, lo and behold, as Sky is kind of evading them and they meet up in Indianapolis, she pays for a bus trip to get Sky out of there. That situation brings her to, the Indian to, her to Minneapolis. Then you find out that Sky, they're trying to keep basically what ended up happening to Henry away from Sky as they're trying to get her back on her feet and get her out of the situation. Well, next thing, we, next thing you know, she's, you know, in a tight situation and she finds out what happens to Henry and she tries to go after this pilot guy. Well, then Letty gets involved and they go to this this kind of convention juggalo thing type thing. I don't and Letty calls Lucas from there and it's close to where Lucas's cabin is. And so lo and behold, he's telling her like, get the hell away. And, you know, Letty starts really showing her characteristics of an, an, being an investigator. So then you have basically Letty tries to keep tabs on Sky and is telling her, you know, don't do this. You know, you know the revenge isn't going to be worth it. He's a bad person. He needs to stay away. You know, and obviously Sky's not going to listen to her. It's not, you know, I think she tells her, like, you're not my mom type thing. Well, then as Letty's trying to see where these guys are, try to get information to pass along to Lucas and the BCA so they can find out, you know, more concrete details about these people other than kind of just the rumor mill and, what they've heard through other law enforcements in the various areas that these people have may have run-ins or similar murders and fits the MO. Um, she sees Pi Pilot and at this juggalo thing, Comic-Con clown thingy. And the next thing you know, he beats the hell out of her and is going to really do harm to her. And then someone steps in. And they protect her and, you know, but she's still, he, got, he breaks a few ribs. And so then Lucas is flying there or driving there quickly and he gets involved and then he's taking it personally. It's an interesting tale. I mean, it really is a, a decent story. In bits and pieces, it was a little slow. Um, but really what I, I liked about the book was the fact that, you know, you got to see Letty play a more key role. You know, I like the fact that Lucas takes it personally. I think when he did, there's definitely the tone and his character and how it was written 
kind of goes back to the earlier days and the beginning of the prey where he takes it like no prisoners. And he's definitely in a point in his life where he doesn't really care what happens to him. You know, he's working for the governor through the BCA office, but he doesn't really care. And then you have some various elements of politicking going on and a guy that's telling him, you know, back off. And, you know, this is how the chain of command works. And Lucas just isn't having it. You know, and Weather's asking, you know, what he's going to do, what he's going to do. And he's just basically focused on the situation with Letty and this pilot character. But you can tell there's a conflict that's coming, like there's going to be a big something coming. And, you know, that's when you get at the end of the book where he basically writes a letter of resignation to, you know, his current boss because he's being a, a something and basically leaves the BCA. And so the book kind of leaves on that kind of thing. Definitely like Letty in the investigator role. I mean, she definitely has that street smart type thing that reminds you a lot of the beginning books of Lucas in the Davenport series. So I like those things about this whole book. I think it was really well done. It was definitely a good read. You know, when you get this far into a series, you can really get kind of in the same kind of process where you're going to have you know, there's a conflict at the beginning, Lucas gets involved and trying to figure it all out. And it gets very monotonous when you're reading the kind of like the same thing over and over again. So it's nice to see some of these changes. And again, I'm a big fan of how these returning characters in these series have an overarching kind of scale of their life and things change and you don't know what's going to happen in the next book. So I really enjoyed this one. I gave this one a 4.1 out of 5. I thought it was a really good read. I really enjoyed it. It was quick for me because I enjoyed it very much. Obviously, you know, I was trying to get through the Tommy Knockers, and but then I was able to focus on this and knock this out. So that is it for an review. Gathering Prey, John Sanford, 4.1 out of 5. Hope you enjoy this. Talk to you later.